Good morning, everyone. Today is going to be a good day. I have a 1980s property. It's about 1,500 square, square feet, and it, the flippity flippers came in and did their handiwork because I have all the freshly flashy photos inside, and I could tell, you know, as a home inspector, you get enough, you see enough of those inside photos, you're like, I'm going to find some good stuff today. All right, we do have some stuff on the roof. It's not terrible, but things that we see all the time. You got the uh, lead jacks that are not properly installed. They should be folded over in, and you shouldn't be relying on tar to, to keep it watertight. You wanna call out fasteners uh, too high. You know, you can see this is an easy area for a water leak. This goes all the way through. I don't even know how that happens, but yes, this will leak. And this little bitty hole right here in your roof can cause major issues. Next area here is a pretty easy spot. Whenever you see a lot of tar in an area, you automatically know this isn't done right and this is a temporary repair. And you can even see the sag in the roof line right here. And this is showing you that this is a future water leak. Uh, it's probably already leaking right there. You can see the tear in the tar. And uh, this is something that you would write up saying that you need a roofer immediately. So again, they have a newer roof with some of the older flashing around the, uh, the, the fireplace flue here. You're gonna document this, especially the tar. Tar is definitely a temporary repair and uh, you don't wanna see tars on roof. This roof should be watertight with no tar. <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing here, but <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to leak. Next area, if you have a tree close, you know, they probably trimmed it up, but they didn't repair any of the damage, so you're gonna write up any tree damage. So yes, we do need a roofer on this property. Um, you know, I know this looks bad, but actually these roof issues could be solved in a day's work real fast. Even, not even a full day's, like half a day's work, where they come out and they'll, they'll, they'll knock out this repair pretty easily. Okay, so on this house, they did cover up some foundation movement. I don't know if it's definitely not close to foundation failure, but enough to let the client know that this foundation's moving. But let's uh, talk about why it's moving. So this roof structure doesn't have any gutters, right? So you need some gutters. So they have a lot of rainfall that pours right next to the slab. Also, if you kind of look further back here, you can see that the grading runs towards the structure here, right? So you have a lot of water pouring towards the structure. And then also, if you look right here, this is a, a negative slope too as well. So you have a lot of water running towards the slab here, running along the slab, and which is causing this part of the property to start to sag, plus the tree being here. So there's a lot of things fighting against it. If you don't have any tools at all, and you're trying to determine if the foundation's moving, you can kind of look down the foundation wall here. And if, you, if the camera shows it well enough, you can see that this side of the property is dropped. Let's see, in the brick line. I'm gonna have to look on my computer to see if it's showing or not, but it's dropped. Also, you can see that the fascia boards are pulling apart and that they're using caulking to fill it up to show the separation. But walking down the edge of the property, this is the easy spot where you can find it, is where the expansion joints are and where the windows set in. So you can see this expansion joint. It's really, really close at the bottom here and then it gets wider, 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 and wider at the top. So it's showing you that the wall is actually settling down right here so you know there's a lot of things at play showing that this wall is moving and what do we have here a little bitty beginning of a slab crack so there's a few things at place is the foundation failed probably not but does it need to be you know secured in place and the grading needs to be replaced to or reevaluated to help prevent it from failing i would say yes so we're going to write up saying that they need to take some action in this area to help prevent the house from failing uh, in the near future 
next area here whenever you see like broken down fences and whatnot a good thing to do is actually come down here and turn this debris over this is an easy area where you can find out if there's termites in the area i'm not really seeing anything this is just a more of a note turn over debris and whatnot it's kind of help you with your foundation or your termite inspections in the future that's uh determine if there's termites in the area so uh coming into the attic system whenever you see this attic area see this you see a galvanized pipe that's been removed or replaced and it's just sitting here should start sending uh warning signs or alarms so with the uh, warning signs and alarms you can see where they replaced the pipe and they used caulking to keep it watertight and uh, uh this is the one of the first signs that your galvanized water lines are compromised throughout your entire structure same thing right here you just start you can start to see previous leaking running across the top you start to see pinholes forming and then you can see that the galvanized water lines are rusting and corroding and then there's a pinhole leak right there so you know this is easy right up galvanized end of life need to be replaced to prevent any future damage to the structure one thing that always gets me though is like why are they just replacing it in bits and pieces here you know it's obviously leaking and failing across the entire structure and they're renovating it all why don't they just replace it all so you can see it's leaking over there and then it's actually leaking right there too as well so you want to make sure that you really let the client know that it needs a new water line system in place Another thing too is what I like to do is try to document all the damage I can possibly see. So where some home inspectors, I've seen it in the past where it's just like they document one little spot and say, all your HVAC, all, I mean, all your plumbing lines are bad. And then you only have one picture. We'll grab like a whole lot of pictures to help better the client's case to really prove to the seller that be like, hey, your water lines are bad and you need to replace them all so you want to document as much as you can grab as many photos as you can to help let the client know and the seller know that you know these water lines are at the end of their life all right last one it's all the way back there but whenever you see that rust and corrosion and that white on the galvanized water lines in a spot that's a the beginning of a pinhole leak in that corner over there I believe I, I believe I said this in one of my previous videos, but you really want to pay attention where you're walking and stepping and grabbing. There are a lot of spliced wires in the attic spaces that are not in the junction boxes. And then also on these platforms, you don't want to just trust the platforms are working. Always test all your footing or you're going to go through an attic space one day. Check out that PVC repair. Ooh, that is a licensed professional, I'm sure one more one more in the attic space yeah got a little bit of everything right right here that's nice crimped crushed duct tape that's actually duct taped <laughs> and uh insulation damaged and missing so i'm sure all these ducts need to be replaced okay on your water heater you really want to pay attention to shut off valves you can see here you don't even want to touch that shut off valve it's at the end of its, I mean, you touch that, there's a good chance that water's gonna start shooting everywhere. TMP has traveled up, uh, no pan. It's a, probably a little bit older water heater. So uh, we're gonna, just, older age, oh look, they have duct tape on the flue, not mechanically attached, not properly installed. So we're probably getting some carbon monoxide in the garage area too as well. I'm gonna keep an eye out for the, uh, the laundry bibs, an easy area to spot uh, water leaks. Uh, easy area to miss too, so if there are washer and dryers here, try to look over the systems and take a look at your, your hose bibs. So along with all the uh, questionable repairs, this is something that you're gonna definitely wanna test is the shower pan. You wanna put about two inches of water in here to make sure it holds because if this starts leaking, uh, definitely can save the client you know, $2,000 or so to redo this shower on the seller side if they didn't do it correctly so we'll test the to see if this is leaking or not but also check out this uh shut off repair here that's uh that's unique that's a new one for me so filling up the uh, shower pan it's gonna it's definitely gonna take a minute we uh we're gonna be here a while okay this one has taken a little too long 
the uh, it's taking a little long, so you just want to make sure that you fill it up, and uh, we'll have the guys check it before they leave. And also, if it's moving this slow, you want to put like reminders on your watch or your cell phone or something to come back and consistently check it because this something like this can easily fall on you guys of leaving a room and leaving water running. So you never want to leave a, a room too much with water running or going too far. So we can actually hear this water running from the kitchen. So we'll let this run and finish up the rest of the home inspection. Okay, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Uh, be careful with those flippity flippers if you're purchasing a property like this. You know, if the pictures are too good to be true and the price is too good to be true, then it might be too good to be true. So if you are putting an offer in a property like this, expect to spend some money coming in to bring it up to par. They already knocked out all the cosmetic stuff for you, but this one you're probably looking at new water lines, a new HVAC system, work with the electrical, so, and you have some foundation movement too as well. So you want to come in thinking that you're going to have to spend money over a period of time with these properties. I hope the HVAC system evaluation and the marketing suggestions help too as well. If you like this type of content, please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment saying how it helped or the next content that you would like me to make in the home inspection industry. And that's uh, Chris with the action. Please hit that subscribe button and catch us on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.